Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekers YouTube channel. Today we're in Wilston, Florida, and today we are going swimming in Devil's Den. It's a super unique place in this part of Florida and probably all of the rest of the world. Definitely gonna to wanna to check this out. Make sure you stick around, hit that subscribe button, and let's go. Let's go. All right guys, like those we're here at Devil's Den. Very excited to be here. Um, it is going to be a cold day. Sorry, a little breezy, but it should be good too. Let's go. All right, guys. So here you are. We're at Devil's Den. You walk through this little area. They are very particular about not allowing you anywhere in, near inside until 930 or until or until your reservation time. You're not going to be able to get in the water until your like reservation time. Heading up to the office to get checked in. All right, so the reason that this place is called Devil's Den is when they, uh, it, it's basically like a hole in the ground with a underwater spring cavern, uh, cavern cave underneath. So that's why it's world renowned for uh, scuba diving, cave diving. But it, it's, specifically it's called Devil's, Devil's Den because in the winter time when it's cold outside, the steam will rise up out of the hole mm. and it looks like it's a gateway to hell. So mm. that's why they named it Devil's Den. And, and actually for a while it was a trash heap. The locals would just throw a bunch of trash in there and mm. it wasn't until I don't know exactly when, sometime in the 50s, 60s, 70s, somewhere mm -hmm. around there, that uh, it was bought by a private property and, and they cleaned it up and turned it into a tourist attraction. Hmm. Alright guys, uh, so we just got uh, checked in. How much was everything, babe? I don't know. <laughs> I think it was like $53 total, 25 bucks a person. Okay, yeah, 50, $53.50 okay. total. We brought our own uh, gear, so we don't need to rent anything. Um, fun, some fun facts, uh, that's the entrance right there, and they said that you are not allowed to bring anything that you can't swim with, you can't leave anything on the deck down there, and uh, scuba divers have the right away. Good times. Ready to uh, freeze your nuts off? Everyone who's it's coming... Gonna, it is going to be cold, everyone's saying it's cold. Yeah, everyone's coming out of there shivering. Yeah, I've noticed a few people too. It says it's 72 degrees year round. Yeah. It's a little bit chilly today here in Florida. Yeah. He it. said, are you ready to are you ready to be cold? And I was, are you ready to go to hell? All right, I'm not afraid of that. I don't like that. It's not nice. Oh ready to go swim with the devil? Let's go. All right, guys. Here we go. Excuse me. No, oh yeah, it feels so it's like it's brisk. You're like a whole scoop of Steve there, babe. But you're in the 360. You ready? Are you, are you, I'm ready. Are you going to jump in or are you just going to... I'm going to jump in. We're just going to rip gonna go? the band-aid off. Are, are you sure you can do that from here? Yeah. Are you allowed to? I don't see why not. I don't know. Everyone else is walking in. Are you sure you're just going to scoot in? Yeah. I would recommend maybe not doing that in case it wasn't any video. Oh, okay. Let's, let's, let's be safe about it. Well, this is probably the most beautiful place I've ever swam. It's freezing. <laughs> He's having a good time though. I haven't committed to going under yet. It is, it is freezing. So, the booze is already halfway in, so probably should pick up soon. Definitely gotta be careful with these ledges. I swam underneath to go to get a better look at one of the, the bigger fish under there. And uh, came up and almost smacked my head. So the water's not so cold once we've been in here yeah. for a minute. So we're 30 minutes into our time here. We've still got another hour. Oh, does it start to sink? <laughs> still got another hour. Yeah. <laughs> we get, get 90 minutes inside the water. It is absolutely beautiful. And there are some uh, fish down there to check out. Some pretty big ones. Some koi and stuff. Uh, are you sure it's a koi? It looks like a koi. Mm -hmm. Giant goldfish looking thing. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't seen it yet. You haven't seen it yet? I've seen it a couple times. We've got some really good shots of it. 
Um, but definitely being here now, it's like you know, making me itch to get our uh, scuba certification. Which you were hot and cold on all the time. I know, like I'm afraid of sharks. <laughs> <laughs> She's always wanting to go out there with like all the animals with the pointy teeth. Uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, I was cool here. There's no sharks in here. <laughs> I'm, I'm more, I mean, I don't know. I've seen, I've seen some of the scary cave movies. Yeah. What is it? So, just saying. <laughs> You can swim around more. I am swimming. My uh, Apple Watch is telling me I've been open swimming for 30 minutes. Swim harder. Because little leggies. <laughs> little leggies. <laughs> Try bubbles. <laughs> the only, maybe the only downside is there's not really a whole lot. There's yeah. not very much space to go. And then right. when there's a the number of people in the water, it gets pretty crowded pretty quick. Yeah, look at the high scuba divers. Yeah, the scuba divers keep coming up from where I need to be. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I think an hour in the water is probably more than enough. They give you the evening on your Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 We're here for it. <laughs> How you feeling, babe? I think it's super cool. Yeah. My ears are a little... Yeah, a little full. Yeah, diving down. But mm -hmm. Yeah, glad yeah. we came. You too. Let's see the part. Probably chasing around a koi fish. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to be a paparazzi. Mm. Are you their biggest fan? Will you follow them and so they love you? Papa paparazzi? Absolutely. Okay, you know the song, the song. Yeah, I'm just coming out. The air up here is definitely a bit colder than it felt down there. Now that we have the wind blowing. So we're gonna walk over here and check out the top of the hole now. What? I don't know. There's a hole. <laughs> There's a hole! Alright guys, I'm gonna try to get you a view from above. <laughs> Soon after. Alright guys, just like that, we are all changed. We are no longer wet and soggy. <laughs> uh, we're gonna walk around and see what else we can see. So let's go. Alright guys, so here we are at the top of the Devil's Den hole. So we're gonna give you a look straight down into the water from up here. It's a pretty neat view. I'll tell you what, after being in that cold water, that sun feels amazing. Alright guys, so we are back in the main area. We're going to give you guys a quick tour around the, um, center. <laughs> see what you can see. Let's go. Alright guys, so for some wayfinding here, um, uh, back where you kind of can see that roof right there, that's like where you enter and where we parked on the other side. Um, this building right here is the bathrooms. They have heated showers. Over to the right, they have, uh, the check-in office area. And then kind of right behind this tree is where the entrance is to the Devil's Den. Then we're gonna go this way. There's some more picnic areas, some pavilions, and there's this little park over here. Um, I don't know if this is part of Devil's Den or if it's a separate thing, but we're gonna get checked out. Yeah, so I was checking, uh, taking a look at the map over there. I could be wrong about this, but I think this may be the spring head that feeds into the underwater cave oh. where the sinkhole is. Okay, sure. So you can't swim, dive, or snorkel or fish, but I think you can walk across the pavilion over here. Kind of cool. Maybe at one point you could have uh, snorkeled and swam through here. Maybe because there's just no lifeguards. See, yeah, I don't know. So now you're able to. Oh, you know, I wonder if this is where the, the scuba divers go because I'm seeing some bubbles over there. I wonder if that's where they come out. Anyway, um, I know here you are able to like camp an RV. Um, obviously, snorkel scuba, you can get scuba certified here. Uh, yeah. See our first gator. <laughs> I think it's a koi. Yeah, I found a koi. One of these koi's must have, one or two of these koi's must have escaped down that waterfall on that. Oh, like, oh yeah, right over there. Aw, oh, buddies. <laughs> it's gorgeous out here for sure. 
and evidently you can rent cabins here. Uh, Lewis says they are what, 100 and what? $160 a night. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll do that in a future video. Cool. Oh, yeah, really, when you're talking about like hotel prices, that's not too bad. No, uh, no. All right. So this is leading me into this uh, wilderness. Let's see what he has in mind. I'm literally wearing Birkenstocks. <laughs> that is a gorgeous tree. Huge. Yeah. Big boy. So it does look like there is an unimproved wilderness trail here. Mm. So no camping, but I guess you can take a walk back in there if you want. Yeah. Not really wearing camp hiking shoes. No, I own Burks. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty though. I would, I would rent a cabin here. I'd rent one of those things for sure. <laughs> okay, cool. I think those are duplexes. Oh, okay, let's go. Yeah, not, not sketch, not, not even a little bit. Not than that one there. Yeah, <laughs> that's the one that scares me more. Where, where did you leave me, bro? <laughs> All right. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up our time here at Devil's Den. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Um, I know I did, and it was fun swimming around, even though the water was cold. It's kind of refreshing. So, yeah, comment down below if you guys want us to uh, run a cabin here. It's kind of fun. I'd do that. All right, here's this guy with the pro tips. All right, guys, so here are your pro tips for visiting Devil's Den. I would say, number one, most importantly, make sure you make a reservation online. They do not accept walk-ups. If you drive four hours to get here, and you don't have a reservation, you will be turned away. So make sure you go to their website and make a reservation in advance. Pro tip number two is you must be either scuba diving or snorkeling to access the den. That means that you must have snorkels, fins, goggles. You are not allowed just to go down there and swim. So make sure you bring the appropriate stuff or rent it while you're here. Right, and pro tip number three is there are no hot meals available here. so. Uh, if you're going to stay all day, you probably want to bring some uh, some of your own food. There are some grills available you can cook up and have a barbecue. So that's going to do it for today. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let us know in the comments below. Are there any other places like this around Florida that you think we should visit? Tell us in the comments below. Maybe we'll go check it out. We'd love to hear about it. And with that being said, we're out of here and we'll see you next weekend. <laughs> so it does look like there is a unpaved wilderness trail here too. So. Unimproved wilderness trail. Oh. It's not. <laughs> I just dunked it in the water again. Oh. I thought you were gonna record me, but I guess I'll record myself. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye. So yeah. <laughs> well, you so close enough to me, bro. <laughs> Hi. No. I don't know. I mean. He's recording now. I don't even have all the pro tips. Oh, alright. I just give you like 10 good ones. <laughs> really? <laughs>